And so Jax Films does his little take against Sniper Wolf. Again, I don't really take sides, but Jax Films is the villain in this situation. He's the one creating drama and uh, asking questions, right? If you're asking too many questions, if you're not comfortable with something, that seemingly doesn't have much of a problem, right? We're not stealing content, we're just copying and pasting it on our channels, and no one is going to worry about, where's the original creator? We can't solve the problem in much better ways. Will he give us solutions to the problems? No, he will create more problems. Just you wait, my friends. Just you wait. We're going to go all the way back. Again, I take no sides, but Jax Films is the villain here. He's the one causing problems and in need of answers. And I'm his YouTube CEO. We'll deliver those answers to this guy. But villains get also kicked in the ass while I deliver answers. You know, because he didn't, he didn't properly prepare himself for what's about to happen. You know. So let's uh, begin this adventure. This is Sniper Wolf. She's a YouTuber with over 30 million subscribers. She uploads daily, and her videos get at least a million views each. So, what does she do? She steals TikToks and... I'm stealing your content, my friends. ...reacts to them. First of all, people are lucky that they have a face on YouTube. Even Jax Films is lucky. He has a face they can monetize. Face that people understand what they're clicking on. Because right now we don't want to be like confused of like all these different people trying to get our attention. Oh my god. So it's a little bit relieving when we can just trust the creator to just appear and give a specific type of content. And Sniper Wolf is like extreme case in a way. But I've tested. Three videos already I've done. I've tested. Jack Jack's Films has no merit to attack a better creator and yes he also asks uh you know people to contribute comments to his videos what is worse what is worse asking people to participate or just taking someone's content what is worse i would say neither is worse but you shouldn't be on a pedestal when you're asking people to do things specifically instead of just doing them yourself finding ways to create your own content, you're just asking people to contribute, but then you have to do less work that way. With Sniper Wolf, she has to actually pull things from TikTok. You know, it's almost like it's more work because she cannot get specific things. So when Jax Films is criticizing Sniper Wolf, yesterday I asked you to shut the fuck up. In each of her hundreds and hundreds of videos, she plays other people's TikToks and provides extremely base level commentary. This dude is running sideways! What? Wow. If you want to support the original creators of the TikToks, uh, too bad, because the only links you'll find in the description are all Sniper Wolf. And my favorite part is that half of the TikToks she includes either crop out the original username or just. So, yeah, she wouldn't be able to upload every single day. You understand that, right? Yes, she could employ someone to do a little bit of extra work, but she's a woman. And there's a little tricky part of being a woman. You want to keep your guards up, all right? You're lucky to be able to upload on YouTube and feel like you're not being threatened in every direction whatsoever, just, just by people watching you, that you exist. Knowing that you exist, it's a threat. For women, it's a whole nother level of security that they need to have. But you, you do you, my friends, with your silly hairline. No one's gonna approach you and worry about you doing anything, especially now that you're married. There's a whole nother layer of insanity when you're single and uh, people just thirsting for you and uh, creating all these love stories and in the spiritual realm is just... Such a mindfuck, bro. Such a mindfuck. So the fact that she looks like an NPC making videos every day, making tons of money out of it, it's not, it's not the end of the world, I wouldn't say. But hey, he's gonna say otherwise, because he's the villain.
He wants to convince me otherwise somehow. Straight up don't have one. To use a recent example from just three days ago, she features 19 videos, 13 of which don't have any identifiable usernames. That means there's no way to find... That means Taylor Swift enters the battlefield if you said number 13, my friends. And number 5 at the same time. Wow, isn't that crazy? Never mind. It, I, I'm tripping sometimes. But damn. Damn, bro. Be careful with number 13. Find and support the original creators here. All of the views and all of the revenue go straight to Sniper Wolf. You know the phrase, work smarter, not harder? Well, Sniper Wolf does neither. She just steals and doesn't credit anyone and has become a zillionaire in doing so. <laughs> a fire hydrant exploded and the water just go. It is another question of like, does she not care of how rich she is? Will she flex that shit? It, I, I don't think she's uh, abusively rich. All right. I don't think so. And, uh, she is promoting a lot of products on Instagram. It's a little bit of cringe. That's always a problem on, on these websites. Uh, at some point, it's just so invasive with the ads. And it's like, why do you need so much money? So much more money? Are you going to build an empire? What's going on? I do agree with this point. I have to concede that for me, money is, is not important. But because it's not important, I'm like I'm not willing to attack rich people when they're more of a a thing that I could leech off of, just scare them and leech them, you know, as much as I want. But honestly, right now I'm I'm living my life. I don't really need anything unless someone can buy me Hearthstone. That would be nice. Going everywhere. Pretty cool. Now some of you might be thinking, so what? Who cares? She's giving creators exposure, and hey, maybe she gets permission from the creators to feature their work. You already know the answer to that. We reached out to creators who've had their work featured in Sniper. Wow, you were typing all these uh, random letters of random NPCs, right? And they will give you random opinions. And uh, twist twist your panties a little bit. About what you, wh whatever you're trying to find, you're going to find it. All right? If you're going to ignore the fact that she's stealing other people's content... You will find yourself somewhat entertained by the fact that she's actually saving things from TikTok into a different platform. She's, you know, capturing things that are living on TikTok and uh, pushing it on a higher level platform. So stealing is completely not a word. It's actually transformation is a pull. It's a, like uh, transportation of content. It's not stealing. All right, just like right now, I'm pulling Jack's films and putting him into a, an electric chair. It's a transformation of content. He's gonna be electrocuted if he says something fucking stupid. Sniper Wolf's videos. And when we asked them if Sniper Wolf and or her team had contacted them about featuring their work, every creator said no, they were not contacted. Most of them were blindsided by the fact that Sniper Wolf had been using their content, and some of them were pretty upset about it. Okay, so she doesn't ask permission, but maybe creators get exposure from her videos, especially if you can see their usernames, right? Well, let's test that theory. At the very beginning of a recent video, Sniper Wolf reacts to a viral TikTok, complete with her very insightful commentary. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. And look, you can see the original uploader's username. Maybe they got a little bump, right? Well, when I... Are there creators, though? What makes them a creator? That's what the, the power of TikTok. You're not creator just because you go viral a little bit. All right? You're not creator. You haven't done anything, bro. TikToking anything because why not? Is that is that a, what a creator does? Creator is supposed to have an identity. So again, Sniper Wolves pull these things in. If you want to save these people, there's a solution. You can interview them. You can make it interesting. You're a creator too. You can sort of uh, mitigate the drama first of all before you get electrocuted. All right? And then you, you can interview people whoever you feel like are interesting. You will still not be able to save all of them in this ship of just uh, uh har sniper wolf just harvesting things from the ground it's like grass it's like vegetables like uh i don't care who planted the vegetable sniper wolf is is there to harvest and technically you know someone needs a little bit of credit but then just harvest it for yourself 
you got a little bit of followers, you can do something cool about it. All right? Instead of losing all the viewership. I looked up their account on TikTok. I found they had a decent number of followers, but that's probably due to their whale shark video going viral last year. Because if you look at their most recent TikToks, they're hardly getting any views. Probably because they're fucking boring. That's how algorithm works. If your shit is boring, it's not going to get views. It's not going to get, get through layers and layers of popularity. Every single time you have to break through layers. It's like uh, shooting a bullet. It has to break through layers to become viral. Where everyone sees it. it has, something crazy has to happen. And you can only probably in your lifetime capture like five crazy moments or something. Like actually capture. Like even that's crazy to think about. Most people wouldn't do that. It's like getting struck by lightning at this point. So what the fuck do you expect? What do you want from this person, right? Now you're just going to give them the spotlight. You know, it's the opposite. You, uh, in YouTube Rewind that Mr. Beast created, he given people spotlights and nothing good happened. All right? Nothing good happened out of that. They got 100,000 uh, uh, subscribers to look at their stuff. And, you know, they didn't actually need it. They just realized, oh, I actually don't need that. And Mr. Beast is kind of like guilty of that shit of like trying to save people by giving them money that they might not actually need. We need like jobs. We need solutions to a lot of problems. Technically, it's we, we're still hanging on on YouTube. And Mr. Beast is now a familiar face, but it's going to become toxic eventually. Just like PewDiePie became toxic, Mr. Beast is going to become toxic. Someone has to step in, you know. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get my suit and tie, bros. But uh, the only person who needs saving is Sniper Wolf from this toxic little shit. Use it all. Which means that, no, people aren't flocking to the original creators, even when their username is displayed on screen. And remember... I don't want to be hypocritical. It could be me. I don't want to be hateful towards Jack's films either. But I do hate the idea of being governistic and pretending that your solution is better. That you should elect me. My... The things that I see and I want to fix really badly, like, they're really important. Please give me views. This drama is very important for me. And uh, I sort of, you know, sympathize with YouTube creators a lot. Because they're going to put enough effort to explain it very clearly. What, what problem are they trying to fix? But never really they give a proper solution, first of all. They just, like... Oh, well, you have to do this and that and this. You have to do that. Now, Sniper Wolf, okay? I have judged you and you, now you have to do that. And it's like, that's not going to work. Who's going to dis Who's gonna threaten her of uh, taking down her channel? Who's going to threaten her to change? All right? The only thing you're doing is like highlighting that maybe whatever she's doing is actually like wrong. But it's still just a maybe. And honestly... I don't think it's a maybe. I think Jack's films is wrong. And uh, I was clear three episodes of this garbage that went viral on my channel. All right? Your little shit actually saved me and my sanity. And my channel got a little bit of a bump. Isn't that crazy, right? Isn't that crazy, Jack's films? How uh, tables turn in magical ways. This is the first TikTok in a video with well over a million views. But guess who's reaping all the benefits? <gasps> Believe it or not, it actually gets worse because. Yeah, because uh, Aziland tried to do that. I evaluated Aziland. Guess what? She cannot do as good of a content as Sniper Wolf does, even though it's just like, oh, it's just commentary. It's pretty difficult. It is difficult to do commentary. I said it myself, like, this is, it's very hard to keep, you have to get in tune with that sort of mentality, you have to do this, uh, you have to hone this skill quite a bit, come up with smart things, but also like entertaining and also kind of uh, elevating and uh, sweet enough so it doesn't feel like it's uh, inappropriate for YouTube in general, uh, inappropriate to watch. It's it's tough, but you also have to hug. Like, she had to master plenty of things to just be able to become a worker, an everyday worker. 
yes, she has a lot of subscribers and whatnot. And uh, but the question is, is there a merit to copying her style of content? Or is there merit to, I guess, criticize her relentlessly at this point? Because like this, this is now a, a twist, right? It's a twist from him just parroting Sniper Wolf into getting attention from her. And now he's fighting for his, you know, self-esteem. Uh, good luck. You didn't have to go this far. Because uh, you might make enemies that you cannot defeat. Numbers don't mean shit when you're starting to make enemies. Numbers mean shit. The only thing... Well, this number means quite a lot. All right? His self-esteem number. If it goes down below 2,000, he might not show up on Rewind to display his wonderful forehead. I mean, that would be such a shame. Because sometimes Sniper Wolf steals from other content thieves. Here she is reacting to an Among Us cartoon made by Viral for You. And shocker, that's not the original creator. Because we found the original creator. It only has 1,600 views here on YouTube. Again, if you're creating something, why the fuck are you putting so much effort? And uh, yes, your content is going to be stolen. You have to deal, you have to know that. All right? You have to be around in this platform to actually know that. That your skills as an animator... Unfortunately, they have to be used so precisely, so uh, well thought out, that whatever you're doing actually has to be spot on. Where, wherever you are needed, you appear and you do a little bit of animation, maybe for other ch people's channels. Uh, you have to find your niche, and that way it cannot be stolen. It's impossible. But if you just do all the work yourself, for yourself, for random reasons, I don't think you're going to be successful. You know, you're going to get your pity points, but people will not understand what's the deeper connection here. What, what are you working for or towards? We will not understand. We have to have the whole roadmap or landscape to put you, to pinpoint you of what you're trying to do, what your quest is. And it's very difficult. Like, Yes, you see people putting in a lot of effort, and it's but it's very difficult for anyone to just group up and be like elevating these people. There's uh, probably some kind of features YouTube can do to uh, you know fix this problem. It's definitely not Sniper Wolf's uh, a responsibility to do anything about this, anything. But you know you can do ja Jax Films can just do content, you know, save safety net or something trying to save and highlight uh somewhat mediocre creators you can do that as a creator you can counterbalance the the problem that arises from other creators that's the whole fucking you know beauty of ecosystems if you find a problem you can be become a content creator around that problem you can try and solve or try and contribute towards the solution this is cool right uh, there's a reason to be a super villain, you know, there, there's a reason to test the power and integrity of another creator. It's, there's a reason. But, uh, you know, this is a little bit invasive, but at least it, like, generates some ideas. And I can, you know, transform this content even further, explaining that uh, all his complaints are kind of, like, weird and they're not going anywhere. And I'm, like, disappointed that this drama is going this far. But, you know, as a summertime, we're going nuts. We're doing whatever the fuck, you know, whatever the fuck happens. Jack's Films got trapped because he's a fucking psycho. <laughs> His personality just, just got, you know, sucked into a black hole, unfortunately. Apologies. Apologies for that one. Your, your wife is going to be very... Uh, upset about it, but that's fine because Sniper Wolf is a pretty cool and good looking person. But it went bonkers on TikTok when someone else freebooted it, and here's the original creator confirming that their work was indeed stolen. So for everyone claiming, well, at least Sniper Wolf's not hurting anyone, she very much is. But even if she did credit the creators and ask their permission to feature them, it still wouldn't make. It also shows again the power of the face, the power of 
familiarity of knowing a person or knowing a personality of ha seeing a real person in the corner of your screen it shows the power of that you don't see me and potentially showing my face would actually bump my viewership into an exponential growth do i really need that potentially i do but for now let's just keep it all clean um you know maybe there's benefits from not showing my face as well so i have to explore both territories and figuring figuring out relationship with people that i can have just just in the chat you know it's a lot faster to have conversations face to face but again it's it's a it's a whole nother dynamic uh that might be very interesting to explore and as youtube ceo you know i actually feel that releasing showing my face would uh put people in a very weird position where they want to like criticize not me not my work nothing nothing else just the the face the, the expressions the things that they see that's very human to do but i'm not supposed to do human things i'm supposed to do quite extraordinary things running the platform right like it's not i'm not supposed to act like a human all the time uh, sometimes i can show my face no big deal if like we're on a date i'm on an interview or whatever you know playing playing the devil at this point well satan devil is much worse way way worse guys her content any better because man i cannot stress how nothing her commentary is oh what's that a whole entire car just rolled into the neighbor's yard see the reason i keep playing these clips is because of a little thing called fair use the extremely important legal doctrine that allows creators to upload content that isn't theirs and in order for content to fall under fair use it must be transformative and add new meaning to the material that's how i was able to monetize my old infomercial and apple parodies yeah i was using copyrighted content but my satirical slant added transformative value Going back to Sniper Wolf, her commentary isn't so much transformative as it is just summarizing what we're watching. Someone caught a is that a cow? Oh no, one of them were rolling. Yes, yes, it is transformative because uh, it can translate the video to a different type of audience. All right, it does depend on who's reacting to the content. And again, women card, it does matter. All right, now uh lower level generation more kids it's it's more kids friendly content all of a sudden and again she can pick and choose which tiktoks to show so she's doing the work uh for the people that would normally would just scroll tiktok but now they can watch it on youtube instead with this person taking the credit yes it's a lot of credit she probably shouldn't be doing this alone and youtube should be uh promoting creators that can do just what she does in fact that's probably the solution right to the problem if you can do content just as good as sniper wolf we have to promote it and see if we can you know force people away from this uh this phase that they see every day potentially into something new it's very difficult now to you know uh change anything but if uh elon musk was able to destroy twitter then i'm sure we can destroy sniper wolf right well twitter happens to be you know a toxic place that was about to be destroyed anyways and uh somehow it attracted a nuclear weapon to it and twitter is no more i don't think it Sniper Wolf is attracting anything bad for her. I think she's attracting more success, but not monetary success. She just, like every other YouTuber and every person in America in general, understands success as some kind of, a, you know, money-driven idea or numbers-driven idea. And right now we're kind of losing our minds for that specific thing. But unfortunately, I am i'm not buying it all right i am the opposite person i don't care about money that much as long as i get to fucking breathe another day because there's much more magical things to focus on than just you know how much money is in your bank account in fact sometimes 
you will feel more alive having less money than more money. <laughs> it's a funny thing. You might be happy and you might be satisfied that you don't have to worry about money, but sometimes worrying about money is pretty good. It just has to have a good ending, though. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty terrifying. Fall down the hill! It's not even content, it's non-tent. Sniper Wolf is the damn that's crazy of reactors. So why am I going after Sniper Wolf in particular? After all, she's hardly the only person stealing other people's content and reaping all the benefits. Is it because, as she suggested, that... Yes. That's because she's a female, and you really like females, and that's why you're going after her. You know, even if it's all the way back in the back of your head, uh, there's something to it, right? There's something to it, like, this helpless little face that cannot properly defend herself, uh, that sort of gives, like, weak, weak commentary, and he's, like, picking up, I could do so much better, I can do... And he couldn't! He couldn't do it! He was doing satire, and it flopped, all right? And she made fun of him, of, like, oh, you, you're not gonna do as good of a job as I do. And it's true! It's completely true! You know? So she, he is, very likely, just pursuing another woman, and again, in terms of marriage, now we're talking about real drama. Now he's looking at a sacrifice card, a sacrifice marriage card. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? And you're also creating a lot of enemies, you know, because you have to be a really high quality creator to be able to withstand not only the drama that you're creating, but withstand the extra drama of making enemies who actually like the creator you're attacking. You know, it's tough. It's good luck, my friend. Good luck. Actually, no. I don't think you have enough of that. Person stealing other people's content and reaping all the benefits. Is it because, as she suggested, that I'm sexist and only go after female reactors? Well, no, 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 and no. And you might want to delete that tweet since you love deleting tweets about me, but more on that later. No, the real reason is actually this. Have you ever read a tweet that broke your brain? Because this broke mine. This is the official YouTube creator's account on Twitter, with over 6 million followers, acknowledging Sniper Wolf as a keynote speaker at last month's VidCon, claiming she gets her ideas from her fans. Now, there are several things wrong with this tweet. Like, why is she... Uh, yeah, it would break my brain as well. This makes no fucking sense. This is why I'm YouTube CEO, but I'm unemployed. Like, right now, YouTube authorities are full of shit as well. Uh, but they're, they're sort of, like, creating drama. Like, you must, you must be a little bit more vigilant and understand that YouTube authorities are not the end of all, uh, the highest tier YouTube personalities out there. They're nobodies. They're literally nobodies talking shit basically they don't even understand what they're saying they're probably the only thing they can identify is like the overall vibe of like okay having more subscribers is pretty good she looks clean and we're gonna say some random shit i'm not trying to defend youtube authorities someone has to shove a camera in their face because uh they don't deserve uh the honest the only problem are these guys who fucking tweeted on a Twitter? That's it. That's the problem. Uh, I want to see how Twitter looks like, because this is hilarious. When it actually works, I'm scared to scroll, man. There's too many women, dude. Okay. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Why, why is TikTok trying to lie to me, man? I guess I got... Taught another valuable lesson to check before I say something. God damn it. So annoying. It's really blah blah blah. Well I mean it's so uh, YouTube authorities didn't say anything original. They just summarized what Sniper Wolf said. Alright. Did, did Jax film said something wrong? Because I got the wrong context, man. This. Have you ever read a tweet that broke your brain? Because this broke mine. 
This is the official YouTube creator's account on Twitter, with over 6 million followers, acknowledging Sniper Wolf as a keynote speaker at last month's VidCon, claiming she gets her ideas from her fans. Yeah, they're... They're not... They're just summarizing what she said. What... It's a very easy route to do, and you're gonna make mistakes, but... Now he's just kind of, like, just going for it. He's like, well... They confirm that she gets videos, for, video ideas from fans. They, no, they just. What the fuck? Uh, but it is quite a question of like, why would she say that, right? Get ideas in the comments. I don't know. See, there's there's another layer of insanity here. Of like, I. I'm like shocked Sniper Wolf wants to look into the comments for some whatever reason. But that's that's some I mean you do want feedback as a content creator, that's always something. It's just uh you have to leave something behind. That's the actual stealing, right? And this is where Jack Swims kinda takes the cake because, you know, he highlights the comments because he uses them for his videos specifically. So uh when a common content creator comes down to the comments, I would suggest they at least click like buttons of things they have read or something. So that's a big deal. You know, it's just a big deal to show that you have put in the effort to appreciate a comment. Some creators might abuse that feature, but, you know. It should be a thing, it's just like a little bit of eyeball. Right now you can just press a creator like button that you see right here sort of uh indicating that the creator has read the comments that's uh the idea uh so let's check out sniper wolf's channel i don't see a thing but maybe it's just one video guys so let's click on five of them bam bam Bam. Bam. Hello, friends, it's me. One more. Hello, Hello friends, it's me. And I don't see a single instance of Sniper Wolf actually clicking a like button. So if you're not doing that, maybe don't talk about comments at Hello, all. Hello, if you don't say, show the examples. If your commentary is not wholesome, you know, about this thing, like, what does that mean? Is this... So, uh, he, she tripped over YouTube authorities as well with this shit. What does that mean? Content ideas. But this is, this is the problem now, that's a personality problem that we're probably facing of, like, Sniper Wolf is an introvert and doesn't want to actually communicate with people that she takes stuff from. I do that as well. I have the same sin where if I take someone's stuff, I'm not leaving a comment behind or anything. I'm hoping that they will take the credit back themselves, which is very difficult, but I'm an introvert. So I can sort of allow myself to do that. And I have no friends as well. That would help me out, leave credits or whatever. Again, she has to employ a person that would solve these problems, right? Uh, but that's that's my best suggestion. Uh, and if if you like a comment, you have to press a fucking like. That's also a thing. And if you don't like enough comments, maybe this is not actually that relevant to talk about in a tweet. That, but at the same time. He's blowing things up out of proportions. Look at this. This is 3,000 views when he fucking took a screenshot of that. It is a question how far it went now, but why, why are you bringing this up so much? It just triggered him into an avalanche of weird things. But that's fine. It happens. So let's speculate. What 
could she possibly mean in the commons? I like harvesting commons too, all right? I think what's going on here is she tries to appear again that she tries to take care of everyone and she appreciates other people's input and that sort of stuff. Because uh, there's a lot of pressure of like, do you actually care, Mr. Creator, Miss Creator, or whatever, about the audience? You all always have to prove in some way she could be lying and all that stuff and it's, uh, you know, resentable stuff uh, you you could sort of smell the destruction of YouTube the recomposition of YouTube in a way because uh, I'm not saying Sniper Wolf is gonna win the fight but for me personally I'm like I like her more I like her content more uh, I would appreciate if she you know followed up and actually appreciated her audience or whatever it's important to engage see the funny thing is the funny thing is she didn't even said wait she didn't even said that she takes the content ideas she just knows that she gets content ideas which is funny you always have to like pinpoint you know the loophole because sometimes loopholes mean that it's the actual more sensible reality. So the loophole is that she receives content ideas, but she does not take those content ideas in the comments. She just knows they are there in the comments somewhere. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that a crazy loophole that we just found? So while YouTube is actually like popping that loophole and kind of missing the point, uh, trying to, you know, change her message in a way. But her message is like, a lot of people care about me. I even get a lot of ideas. And uh, uh, she, all, all of these are disconnected in a way. Very interesting. Because the, the biggest sin is like, you can't read all the comments anyways. And uh, if someone gets harvested, like, who who will know anyways? Uh, but it does, does create a weird sort of situation where now she's defending of like, actually 90% of my ideas are original. So it gets really twisted and weird. But the question is, can you actually untwist it or there's a different problem entirely somewhere. Do you need a completely different perspective? Because I got twisted into this very quickly and I, I don't really have a good commentary. I just got confused. You might sense that already. Now, there are several things wrong with this tweet. Like, why is she a keynote speaker at VidCon? Why is YouTube creators bolstering this? But the worst thing about the tweet is this, getting video ideas from her fans. What ideas? Quite literally, all she does is upload other people's TikToks. How is that an idea? What am I not getting here? Do her fans comment, here's an idea, you should react to more TikToks. And she goes, damn, that's crazy. Sorry, I feel a little gaslit here. Seeing YouTube and VidCon boost this kind of activity is so disheartening. It sends a terrible message to creators. And that is, don't create, steal. Why make content when you can curate it? What's the point in writing music or animating or perfecting your craft when you can just upload someone else's hard work and say, This is nuts. Like, I cannot even believe what I'm seeing right now. Me neither. <laughs> the other reason I'm going after Sniper Wolf is she made fun of my hairline. Now that's something only my wife, friends, family, and viewers get to do. Not you, Sniper Wolf. Never you. You know, maybe you should react to better comebacks because this is embarrassing. I, I get why you deleted it. I would delete it too. Wolf. Now, part of the reason Sniper Wolf has gotten away with this theft for so long is that her audience is children. And I don't mean that condescendingly. I mean, I mean, she deleted because you accepted your defeat. You know, you reacted to it. <laughs> deleted, bro. What? I don't even care about that part. But he cares. He put that thing in as well. The deletion. It's like, oh, oh, you lost self-esteem, Sniper. <laughs> What are you winning? Where are you going, bro? Where are you gonna win? I mean, her viewers are literally kids. 
And kids don't care about things like content theft or freebooting. They just want to go to the page with all the funny TikToks. Wow, this YouTuber has all the coolest TikToks. I really want to know how Sniper Wolf finds all those videos to react to. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Maybe from the people that made them? By the way, that's a real tweet from YouTube. Are you starting to see why my blood's boiling? So Sniper Wolf's viewers don't care or know about the stolen content. Maybe we should tell them. Maybe we write things in her comment section like credit the creators or hey, I wonder where these TikToks came from or you think she has permission to use these or why is her commentary You mean you're gonna do the thing that makes no difference? Because I don't think she looks into the com She doesn't, didn't say specifically she goes down into the comments to harvest the ideas all the time as her No, she just wanted to please the audience of like, yeah, I do care about you guys Please leave me alone <laughs> You know, uh, but yeah, this is what happens when you're a rich person. You want people to leave you alone, but you have so much money, though. I don't want to leave you alone. Fuck that shit. I want to be a puppy now. I want to be a, a, within your bitch family. You know, bitch is a female dog, by the way. But there's also a camera woman in there, so maybe I like her. Now I want to take things. Yeah, so, uh, it's a tough life, guys. It's a tough life. Again, as you can feel, I don't side with anyone. I like women, though, personally. And I give them a lot of self-esteem. Hopefully they spend it wisely, because, uh, you know, you don't want to offend me, either. Which could happen, unfortunately. Women are almighty until, you know, they start losing their beauty, their, their appeal. They just peel off the positivity slowly. And if there's nothing inside that sustains their self-esteem, then it's all gone. It's all going to evaporate anyways with age. So let Sniper Wolf reign in power. She will lose all of it anyways. But if Jack's film is going to lose his mind about it, and he's not going to be patient enough, well, we're going to knock him down as well. So, uh, don't worry, guys. This is why I don't side with anyone. Anyone can lose it any time. They can just lose it, you know? This is the greatest mental illness, is to actually believe in someone 100%. Like, this it's not going to work. It never works not transformative. She's merely summarizing what we're watching. Okay, maybe that last one's a little too verbose for the kitties, but you get my point. Now, Sniper Wolf, if you're watching this, hi, big fan, you're probably thinking a few things right now. One is, why is he so obsessed with me? Yeah, what the kid's gonna do is they're gonna start chanting of like some kind of slur against Sniper Wolf, Steeler Wolf or whatever. It's just gonna turn into a slur that kids want to chant just to try and pull pull down Sniper Wolf's self-esteem and see what happens. Just to see what happens. Because we're all going to be united just because Jack's films really wanted that. How are you going to control those fires, bro? Fires of hatred. Fire, fire, just uncontrollable meme rage. I mean, what the fuck are you... No, it's just, technically it's him feeding into toxicity against Sniper Wolf. Does she deserve it? I don't know. She needs more competition against her. That would be nice. But you know how it's going to look like. But it's very difficult. Like, she's kind of nice intelligence, nice looks. Everything's clean. You know, she has built skills for this thing. And she does it consistently. And uh, for that to go right, for all these five things to go right... It's pretty complicated to balance all these things together. All right. Yesterday I asked you is not an everyday thing that Jax Films is doing. All right. He knows that it's very difficult to actually balance out everyday content to make people feel welcome every single day. It's like opening the shop every day and giving something to the people desperately. Yes, you didn't grow all the apples, all the oranges, yourself, all right? They grew by themselves, and all Sniper Wolf did is just harvested those things and sold it to people. Do I have to credit the trees? Do I have to credit the, the nature and pray to the gods of nature 
so they don't fucking eat me alive or some bullshit like that? What's going on, Jax Films? Who are, who are we praising right now? These people just had random experiences, they shared on TikTok, they have a little bit of a self-esteem boost by uh, the people who watch the experience and try to relate to the, those people as well. But that's all they're supposed to get. Just a little bit of viewership, do whatever you want with it, but don't expect to be treated as a creator. What the fuck does he want though, bro? What is he looking for? To which I say, are you serious? I just, I just told you that a moment ago. Another thing you might actually be thinking is, he's just jealous of my success. And you know what, Sniper Wolf? I am. Of course I am. You've stolen your way to the top. You've made your millions, but off the backs of hundreds of other creators who didn't really consent to this partnership you forced upon them. And I'm not just jealous, I'm jaded. jaded. Honestly, true. Mm, I will be attacking Mr. B's the same way. Because I feel a very similar way. But I don't want to be as, as low as Jack's films when I do that. Shit. Hopefully it works out. Because hmm. it, it, it's a very similar dynamic with me and Mr. Beast. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to attack someone like that. So that's why I employed, you know, Selena to do it. And technically that works flawlessly. It works fl He She just added him as a pin out of ten pins happens to be three, and just knocked all of them out with one hit. Sniper Wolf could be a pin in a grand scheme of things. But now there's a problem. Again, when genders differ, the dynamic is also quite different in a way. I used Selena, but I didn't change my gender by doing so. I just used her power and her influence to... Focus on, like, can can we kick Mr. Beast in the balls? Oh, yes, we can. That was easy. And now I'm gonna use the competition, all right? So, it's a very natural effect, from my point of view, of, like, uh, first of all, kicking Mr. Beast in the balls to just see that I can do that. And now I'm, like, I'm questioning Mr. Beast's integrity in general by putting him under competition. So, if... Uh, Jax Films want to actually win this argument. He has to put Sniper Wolf under competition against other creators that he wants to highlight above Sniper Wolf. And Sniper Wolf has to lose that competition against at least 50% of those creators if he's so fucking confident that she's doing a bad job. Oh, oops. I am telling you now. The twisty twist of playing a woman card is that female creators are way more rare than anything else on this platform, and you will have a hard time trying to find competition against Sniper Wolf. Good fucking luck, bro. But this is not the end. This is not the end. We still have to finish the video, bro. This is my 17th year on YouTube, and I've seen this platform evolve countless times since I started in 2006. Back then, the content YouTube would boost was sketch comedy or meticulous new- Yeah, soon you will be able to have sex with content creators, am I right? When you get 18. Music videos are content. Just genuine, actual content. Today, the very definition of content is arguable, because anything can be content. For better or for worse. When you turn on the water, it's gonna fill up the water bottle. Oh, and then the water pours out of it so you can wash your hands. I'm just gonna say it. This sucks. This absolutely sucks. Both the thing itself and YouTube's promotion of it. So now what? Where do we go from here? I've said my piece, but will anything actually change? Probably not. Which is why I'm not done. Last year, I made a new channel called Digit Jacks Films. It was a parody of Sniper Wolf's channel where I reacted to her videos, but in the most drawn out way possible. So for seven days. Oh my gosh, a whole week to make paper? No thanks, I'll just buy it at the store. <laughs> uh, no, I kid, of course. No, it's a very complicated process. A whole week, oh, it's been one week since you made me paper. Well, you're not gonna win that way if you just make satire about it. If you just suicide into her content. It's not funny to just smash all the way into her content and be like, look, I did the same thing. You didn't do the same thing. You just did something weird. This is weird, all right? You just weirded out the content in hopes, in hopes that it will work, it will be funny, and it didn't work. I've checked it out. Don't worry about it, all right? Try and change my mind now.
now that I checked it out. <laughs> These videos were intentionally hard and painful to watch, which got me thinking. What if I made them entertaining? Instead of playing... Thank you! That's pretty cool! I'm all for it, man. Finally. A good idea, am I right? It was painful and difficult to watch. Yeah, why? What's the point? It's, it's not always like you will immediately just get the point just because there's some kind of point. No, the point was that he was fucking angry and upset. He was a little fucking baby about it. Seeing Sniper Wolf uh, doing her thing, you know. And again, that's kind of the power of women to inspire men to do better. To improve upon. And now he's like, oh, Sniper Wolf is a platform that I can stand on. Be careful, man. Be careful. Unfortunately, I will judge you very hard. And one day you will find out about it. Playing a character, what if I just graded each one of her reactions with legitimate criticism? And what if I credited the creators whenever possible, both in the video and in the description? And what if, occasionally, I enlisted the help of my good friend JackGPT? Jarvis, please write a haiku on why freebooting is bad. Pirates of the web. <laughs> Snatching memes with no cred? <laughs> Original sad. Why, you could call that transformative. Heck, I'd argue it even falls under fair use. Wouldn't you agree, Sniper Wolf? Yeah, I'm not really asking. <laughs> it's minus 57 degrees. Minus 57 degrees. Yeah, that's what he that's says. What he it's an attempt. Again, if you use a woman as a platform, there's a dynamic. This is technically marriage, or content creator marriage. Jax Films, I have bad news <laughs> about what you're trying to do. Because if you're gonna try and fix Sniper Wolf, you'll spend a little bit too much time with her. And that's pretty fucking weird. Alright, it's pretty weird. Because you have a hate relationship with her, and you don't want to be in relationship with her. To begin with, I'm just saying. But you, you can act as a supervillain, I guess. I hope it works for you, man. It's it's probably possible. What he said? Yep. I tried to pour a can of coke. You tried to pour a can of coke? <laughs> stop! Stop! Stop repeating! Just, she's just repeating what they say louder. Anyways, the first video is already up on Judge Jack's films. Go check it out and subscribe because I will be uploading there daily for as long as I want to. You see this big guy? He be eating all of the little guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line. Effortless reaction content has only grown more common since the days of Jinx. And just because it's more normalized now, doesn't make it right. I will continue to call out thieving mooches like this, and I hope my fellow creators will do the same. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find a good home for this small glass of wine. Shout out to the people that actually make stuff. Mwah. Alright, so uh, here we go. The ultimate battle. Mm hmm. Ultimate dynamic. Sniper Wolf wants to, you know, take care of the kids. You know, just like any normal woman. And then uh, Jax Films is like, oh, I actually don't like what you're doing. I can improve upon that. There's empty space here. You don't have a boyfriend. Mm, let me just fill it up. You know, let's just, let me just put my JJJ in there. Good luck. Good luck. Maybe you will do a good job. I'm just saying it's a commitment now. Oh, wait, what? We're playing a game of Saw? Fuck me, bro. It's a com commitment means if you're gonna waste your time and it's not gonna work out, uh, maybe bad consequences are gonna happen because when you step right up into a different level, you might fall down and feel butt hurt. Or your heart will break. There's more consequences that you might need to be aware of to not hurt yourself. You know, to apologize to Sniper Wolf, and then you can fall down, you know, to your level. Uh, you might have to do that. Mm. But we'll see. I'm just a spectator for now, you know. And uh, I can predict the future with my psychic abilities of knowing the patterns of life and stuff. Again, women always act weaker in order to provide platform for men, in order to reach out to children who are below. And uh, 
it's always like a very attractive thing for everyone to kind of, uh, in a way, abuse women. But you have to be fully ready to jump on this wobbling platform. And the moment you will appear, people will feel like shit. Now you de really deserve competition. With women, it's very difficult to provide them with competition if they're unique, if they're not just flexing their beauty. Because most of the women, that's the real criticism against women in general. If they're not doing anything at all, just flexing their beauty, just becoming porn stars, essentially, or some kind of modeling garbages. But if, if they can do a slightly more than that, then finally we, they deserve respect. And that's the difference, you know, between genders, my friends. It's not as easy as it seems, isn't it now? When genders actually have difference, guys. Wow. Would you look at that? Anyways. See you guys next time. I hope you learned something. Maybe you want to even subscribe to me now. Nah. Keep, keep, keep that button click. It's very difficult to do. Bye.